Greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is me, the Ravenous Spectre. How's everything going with you lovely people on this lovely frigid evening? I am here at work on my break, and this video is Journey Onward! It's the next exciting episode of my week in gaming, and this week has been Final Fantasy XV. And <clears throat> I'm enjoying it. I am liking it. Currently, I am, uh, Noctis is level 26, 26 or 27, and my other three party members are like 25, I believe. Um, honestly, I am enjoying it. The side quests can be a bit iffy at times, uh, kind of, they're not really that interesting, at least from what I've experienced so far. It's, uh, they're, they're okay, um, the, I guess the main thing that I really need to do is maybe focus a little bit more on the story, but... At the same time, I also believe that you need to do some of the side quests there in order to advance in the story because of the fact that, well, you just <laughs> that's that's basically where you're where you're leveling up at, you know. Um, yeah, you can go through each story segment, uh, but each story segment, at least to my knowledge, has a certain level that you need to be at before you even bother to take it on. And <clears throat> excuse me, um, currently. Uh, I'm not going to say what part that I'm at because I don't want to spoil anything, but it is a story segment. <clears throat> and uh, the, the side missions that I've been doing have been pretty cool. It kind of, I don't know why, but it kind of took me a little bit to kind of get used to the whole car traveling aspect. Basically what, and I don't know why I thought this, but basically when you start driving, when you go to a new place, you don't have fast travel. But after you visit that place, then you end up unlocking fast travel. I think basically the fast travel is the areas that you really explore and open up, like the the diners and the uh, uh, the, the various um, places you can sleep at and item shops and things of that nature. I'm not really sure if it deals with other places that you visited in terms of, of certain quests that you would go on. Uh, don't hold me to that. Uh, I could be completely wrong, which I probably am. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, Basically, what I'll be, and it, it, the thing is, though, is it costs you 10 gil to be able to fast travel, which I think is stupid. I think that they shouldn't, it shouldn't take any money away from you. I mean, yeah, I can understand that one of the reasons for this game is, oh, hey, you know, we're four dudes on a road trip because we have a prince here and we're his three guardians and we're basically uh, escorting, escorting a, uh, Female Yuna, I guess you could say. Well, not necessarily, but you get what I'm saying. If you play Final Fantasy X, you get what I'm saying. But it's uh, it's really cool. It it, it is. Um, the thing is, is sometimes some of these trips can take it. It can take anywhere between two to seven minutes, from my from my knowledge of what I've experienced so far. And yeah, when you're gonna want to, even though it. <clears throat> Even though it does cost 10 gil to fast travel, if you've already been to a place, go ahead and fast travel. Because these side quests that you do, actually, from what I've experienced, do net you a lot of gil. At least quite a bit of gil from what I've seen. And gil is uh, the money in the game, in case you were wondering. In case you've never played a Final Fantasy or something, that's what gil is. Um, is the money that you'll use in the game. Um, but it's been... It's been it's been something honestly. Uh, so I'm I'm glad that it's finally released. I'm enjoying it. I'm playing it a lot. I really I really am enjoying it. There's not been anything so far that's really just grabbed me out of nowhere and shocked me or anything. The battles are pretty cool. One of the things that I can really uh, argue about is the fact that anytime when you go out in the wilderness after you reach a certain point in the game, there's these Magitek soldiers that it seems like. It doesn't happen all the time, at least not for me, but when it does happen, it's it's so sp sporadic and random. Uh, there was one time where I went on a little side quest, and there was like four, four fucking Magitek soldier ships, one after another. And I kept fighting these assholes over and over and over, killing them off, killing them off, killing them off, along with actually killing off some of the wildlife that was there that I meant to go kill in the first place because I was on like a wild hunt side mission or something. And there was like a couple other times that the Magitek soldiers showed up and I was just like, oh my lord, man, you know. And Square Enix has already talked about how they're going to end up doing for uh, future patches in this game, which is all well and good, but it kind of worries me a bit too because if you have people who've already pushed right along and have beat the game, are they really going to have incentive to go back? I mean, you're going to have to really give some really interesting stuff for, for people to have incentive to go back and play. 
Um, they said they're going to add in new cutscenes. They're going to end up making like I think like one of the later chapters better to play through because a lot of fans have complained about it. They were going to flesh out another chapter better, I think, with cutscenes or story or, or something like that. And I'm just thinking to myself, I know they're going to add in a new game plus, but that doesn't necessarily mean people are going to be interested enough to go back through it again. I mean, yeah, some people will, without a doubt. And I'm honestly, I'm really trying to take my time with it. I am. I got other games that I'm playing too. Um, if I end up having to beat the game before they, they end up releasing these future patches, then hell, I'll, at some point I'll go back and play through it again for sure because I, I do like it. I definitely do. And I'll see what all the new extra stuff is that they've added in it with the future patches. Um, let's see. Moving right along to something else since I took almost six minutes of talking about that is Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I haven't really played too much of it. It's kind of pretty much, at least from what I've experienced so far, the same as the, the first one, at least from what I've heard and heard in reviews. Um, it's pretty cool. It is. I really do like the fighting aspects. The controls are kind of hard to get down for me, though. There's like three different uh, selections you can choose for the different controls, and I'm just sitting there like, which one of these works best for me? You know, So I'm really trying to figure that out so I can really get the most out of the game. The main thing that I've really been playing has been Final Fantasy XV. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely cool, definitely fun. Obviously, I'm not playing it online because PS Plus can go suck an elephant dick. Uh, yeah, raising the price up ten dollars. Uh, your cloud service is faulty. Uh, your free games, free games suck ass. They're not free. If you have to pay for the damn service, they're not free. Especially if the service ends. Guess what? They're still not free. In order to play them, you have to have the service. So they're not free. Um, but anyways, off of that note, <laughs> I've also been playing a, uh, a 3DS game. It's another Dragon Ball game. It's called Dragon Ball Fusions. Really cool game. It's basically kind of like a strategy RPG in a ways, I guess you could think of it as like a turn-based RPG on the 3DS. And it's like an original Dragon Ball storyline. And it, it is honestly really cool. You create your character at the beginning from like a few different races, kind of like what you do in the Xenoverse series. And go from there. I, I'm going to get back into playing it some more tonight. I've been busy with Final Fantasy 15 so much and trying out Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's just, it's been crazy. Um, also ended up getting the uh, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. I got it for like 15 bucks or something on a Black Friday sale through Walmart. Um, and yeah, I mean, I have the first, the, the first three on PS3, played them, beat them, loved them. And I thought to myself, hell, you know what? 15 bucks is fine with me. I'll go ahead and get them again and see if they're prettier and be able to use all of the features the PS4 offers. It doesn't have they don't have any of the multiplayer modes, which is understandable. But it has all three single player modes, which were great, great games. And so yeah, being able to go back and play through those again on PS4, the price that I got it at, yeah, I mean, I'm all for it. I actually started playing the third game when I ended up loading it up. Some people complain about the third game. I don't see why. I thought the third game was great. I thought the first one the first one was the weakest one. I mean, yeah, it was the one that started it all, but to me, that was the weakest one of the three. But you got to start somewhere, and for what it was, the first one was really good, and the second one was just astronomically better, and the third one was really great as well. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been playing a little bit of that also. Um, let's see, what else have I kind of been on lately? Um, Actually, I believe that's probably about it, honestly. I believe that that's probably the main ones. Final Fantasy XV has been like my main go-to when it comes to gaming, for without a shadow of a doubt. Um, so I'm definitely going to be playing that some more, and also Dragon Ball Fusions. And I'm also going to... Um, my <laughs> This is kind of funny. Real quick story here. Um, I was supposed to get Gears of War 4, like some odd days ago, but I ended up calling up Best Buy and talked to them about it, and they said that it was lost in transit. So they ended up resending it to me, so I should have it tomorrow. It's kind of funny, because that was like one of the first Black Friday games that I ended up ordering, and it's taken the longest to get here. All of my other ones that I've ordered offline have gotten to me, except for that one, which is just kind of crazy to think of. But yeah, that's, that's what's happened. But I'll definitely be playing that when I end up getting that, so that's probably going to end up being on next week's episode for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Gears of War 4, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I think it looks really gorgeous as well. Definitely interested in playing it and seeing what it's all about without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but anyway, sorry for all the alms. I'm just trying to get all my thoughts together and everything, and I just got done eating, and I burned my tongue, and yeah. Hey, if you guys haven't tried Kentucky Fried Chicken's Pot Pies, you should because they're amazing. <laughs> Shameless plug there, whatever, you know. Whatever. That, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but they're really good, so yeah. 
Sorry, that was just something extra added in there for some ungodly reason. I have no freaking clue. Uh, but, yeah, so, anyways, I'll go ahead and end this like I always do. Later, taters. Have a lovely evening and stay warm because you don't want your balls and your nose to fall off and you don't want your nipples to get so hard that they could cut glass because as cold as it is out now, it can happen. So, watch your balls, watch your nipples, watch your ass, watch your toes, watch your fingers and everything else that could fall off because of damn frigid ass fucking weather.